use the graph of the function to find the following. And we have a bunch of different prompts here, and we're going to use this graph to the right to answer all of these exercises. First, we're asked to find f of 0. So remember, this means that we're going to take the input to be 0, and we need the output. So if the input, if the x value is 0, if x is equal to 0, we find the corresponding point on the curve where x is 0. And what I see is, I see this point right here, that point that I just marked in blue, that, part, that point is 0, and it looks to be about 7.5. So therefore, f of 0 is equal to 7.5. Similarly, now to find f of negative 7. Again, I'm thinking of that negative 7 as my input, as my x value. So I'm looking for a point on the curve where the x value is negative 7. I'll mark the point in red. I see this point, and it appears to be the point negative 7, negative 10. So therefore, f of negative 7 is negative 10. And let's find f of 3. Again, I'm thinking of 3 as my input. And I find the point on the curve 3, 0. So therefore, f of 3 is equal to 0. Part D. We're asked to find the values of x when f of x is equal to 0. So this is the output. We need the output. We need the y value to equal 0. And I see two places on this curve where the y value is 0. I'll mark them in purple. I see the point negative 5, 0. And I see the point that we used earlier, 3, 0. So there are two values for x that make the function equal to 0. And they are when x is equal to negative 5 and when x is equal to positive 3. Part E, find the x-intercepts. Well, we actually just did that, and I wrote them in purple. The x-intercepts are negative 5, 0 and 3, 0. Find the y-intercept. Well, there's actually only one y-intercept, and I, and I already marked it in blue earlier. The y-intercept happens when x equals 0. And so the y-intercept is the point 0, 7.5. Now we're asked to use the graph to find the domain and the range. Well, the domain, recall, is associated with the x values. So the domain, if I look at the x values, I see this arrow to the left and I see this arrow to the right, and everything's connected in between. So for the domain, it looks like I can, it's going to keep moving to the left, and I get everything in between, and it's going to keep moving to the right. So the domain is all real numbers, uh, the, or, uh, the interval negative infinity to infinity. Now the range is associated with the y values. Let's see the range. I see a maximum y value. And the maximum y value appears to be at 8. All right, my maximum y value. And looking at those arrows again, they're going to keep going downward as I move further and further to the left or further and further to the right. So the range appears to be from large negative numbers up to 8. So the range is from negative infinity up to 8. And I'll bracket the 8 since it appears I get that exact y value.